Hey, Dr. Rob Silverman here with the question of the week. I get a lot of blood tests that I get to evaluate. One of my patients asked a great question. What's cholesterol? How do I look at these blood labs? Well, first of all, just cholesterol is not an appropriate marker. That's just total cholesterol. I like to see the HDL and the LDL. But more so than that, HDL being happy, good cholesterol should be high. LDL, lousy, should be low. Within the HDL and the LDLs, what I'd really like to see is the subparticles. Not all HDLs are made the same. So we need to see the differences in HDL 1, 2, and 3. When it comes to LDL, which is the bad one, it's not the number that you're getting when you get LDL, it's the weight. So if you were to envision, if I could be a little evocative, and I were to have a shoebox of LDLs, and there were two shoeboxes, and they weigh the exact same, and I would open up the first shoe box, and I was able to pull out 10 little golf balls. Golf balls, like small particles. Those small particles, if you test for them, are very, very deleterious to your health. They get stuck under your artery, and that causes placking. Whereas, if I were to open up this shoe box, and I could open up, and it would be two big softballs, they're puffy, they're fluffy, they don't attach to the arteries. They don't cause that same deleterious placking. So the particle size in LDL and HDL are very important. Not enough docs are taking that marker. In addition, triglycerides are a key element. Triglycerides are a form of blood fats coming from sugar. So yes, typically if you have high cholesterol, you're always backtracking to sugar. So sugar markers should always be done in a cholesterol panel. Sugar being fasting glucose, fructosamine, which is two to three weeks of your blood sugar, and the big marker, hemoglobin A1C, which tells me your blood sugar average over 90 to 120 days. So as we expand the field and we look, another thing I like to look at in cholesterol markers is something called APOB. APOB is a much more indicative marker of just pure LDL. APOB is the truck driver. It drives all the LDLs, and you have four different ones in your body, all the LDLs and deposits them at the arteries. Whereas APOA is like HDL, it's a pickup truck and takes them away to get dispersed. So these are the type of things that I look at on a blood marker. These are the things that every doctor should be doing. I don't see enough. Anybody wants their blood sugar evaluated, any of their markers taken, come give me a call. Always yours in health, Dr. Rob Silverman.